Let's try that again. Are we out there? Am I live? We're gonna give it a second. Happy, happy Monday. We're gonna give it a, another whirl here. I don't know uh, what happened, but um, that's how technology goes. So we'll try that again. Happy Monday, everybody. How's everyone doing? Did we have a fantastic weekend? We'll wait for some people to hop online, but welcome to Be With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Stars Beads in Vienna, Virginia. It's a bright, sunny day. Hey, Bosma, it's great to see you. We're gonna see if we can uh, get people hopping back on since, um, I don't know, slight uh, technical difficulties. Uh, not quite like Friday night, right? Who is with me? Let me see your hellos. Let me see your thumbs up and your hearts. Let me know you guys are out there. I always like to see uh, where you guys are coming in from. So if you guys are new here to be with me, let me know where you guys are from. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, good. We've got, hey, Mary. Hey, Paula. Hi, Patty. I've got some wonderful goodie bags of stuff for you guys from pearls to check glass to vintage to, I mean, was it colorful on Friday? Do I at least look like I have a little bit more rest? Because it was, I can't believe it was another four hours. I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit quicker. And four hours flew by just like that. So I hope it kind of flew by for you guys that it doesn't seem that long. Um, <laughs> but, oh my gosh, those goodie bags are looking beautiful. So I'm still, I'm still getting them all together. So thank you guys all for joining me on Friday. So anybody who has ordered, um, we are getting those things uh, all together. I will be sending out a little note. They are not going to get shipped out till the end of the week. There are some things that we are getting some of the parts and the components uh, in for because they were samplings and so that we can get them in, put them into your order and then get that uh, goodie bag out to you guys. Okay. So hang tight. I will send some messages out to you, but they are coming. Okay. And then um, you still have time, so if you don't even know what I'm talking about, check it out. Friday Night Live happened last Friday, okay? And we were, uh, it's a fun sip and shop of just cool, fun goodies where we are showing off in this week was color so but great deal so I had 40% off on pearls I had 30% off on vintage check glass I had and 10% off on just everything okay so those deals are good until tomorrow okay and then um, major announcement for you guys um, I will be putting it into the post here too but um, I have a special July 4th and actually it's going to be going all of July okay so I have my friends over at Be uh, Bead Goes On they were our um, our sponsors for bringing us the beautiful uh, vintage uh, crystals so if you like these little uh, Swarovskis all, all of those uh, ones that we made on the bracelet last week okay they gave us all their sparkles and they just wanted to highlight it and those beaded bangles so if you missed either one of those Friday night lives, okay? You have all July, okay, to get 15% off of their website if you use Stars Beads, okay, as your coupon code, okay? Instead of doing like 10% off like the Friday night live, okay, and the free shipping, they're doing, um, they're gonna give you 15% off across their website, okay? Just use Stars Beads in there. Okay, so we're hooking in uh, with them and um, showing some love for, so that's gonna be a different style virtual trunk show. I thought I'd, we'd try it out. And so um, we're good friends and we always love seeing their stuff. And so they kind of show us some of their newest things that are coming in, maybe some of their newest color sets. So they, they let us have them right, right here on Bead With Me. Okay, so, um, so check it out, beadgoeson.com use stars beads in the checkout and you'll get 15 percent off your order okay um that is all the way through july okay so i'm announcing that july chunk show so i'll be i'll be doing it you can actually i think they already got it set up so you could technically do it right now okay so that is an extension to Friday Night Live and going on to the July 4th sale. Okay, you guys? So um, I'll be posting that up onto our regular website and um, onto all the different feeds, okay? Just to remind you. Anyway, um, those are some major announcements. Um, I, I will announce winners still. I still can't seem to figure it out, but I will um, announce winners for the uh, 
for the giveaways. So those will be coming up. And then today I thought I would play around a little bit. We were talking um, last week about somebody wanted to uh, know about making jump rings. And so I like making chain and I thought I would show a little bit of wire working and making, creating our own chain. And I'm gonna use some of the crystals just because I happen to still have them here, but these uh, medium vitrol. So if you like these, um, you can you can still order some. Okay, um, it's gonna be like the bracelet I have here. Okay, so last week we made a very very simple style chain. This week I'm gonna show you making a jump ring, making a couple links, and then um, making a different style chain. Okay, that's what we're gonna do today. So I I am gonna be working with. 20 gauge wire you could certainly use some you know something thicker i would recommend doing a half hard so i'm just using plated wire just to show you guys uh some of the techniques but i'm using 20 gauge i have copper and silver here uh to mess around i'm also going i want to harden it and kind of give it a, a little bit of um design texture so i will be using a little bit of a hammer um, we are going to be using a couple tools today so I'll throw those into links we're going to use a, a jump ring maker uh, and a bench block and dapping block okay so let's see yeah you, hey Sherry Lynn it looks like you made it home home in time to watch me you guys are so funny and then maybe a little sneak peek some live shopping here after we make a bracelet how does that sound you guys all right cuz Last week we learned to make this chain, and this week I might have some cool organic pendants to show you guys, okay? All right, let's start off with making a couple little pieces, okay? So I wanna make jump rings, okay? And there is something called an easy jump ring maker. Okay, it com comes like this, hard to tell, but you get a little key ring, and then you'll also get, in this case they have I think I got one rolling around here somewhere. Where is it? I think there are four. Let's see, four. I should have four of the, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, you get four different dowels, okay? Four, six, eight, and 10 millimeter in this particular case, okay? Um, and this is uh, what I'm gonna make the jump rings with. Okay, so the easy thing, if you are, are new to this little jump ring tool, it comes in two parts, so it's easy transport. Have a great day! And what you're gonna do is take whatever size you want. In this case, I'm taking the six millimeter and I'm gonna screw it in tight, okay? I'm taking my 20 gauge uh, wire here. Let me find cutters so that we can make it easier on ourselves. Okay, and just using copper because it's cheap and it's easy to show. Okay, so there's a little hole right here, you guys. And I'm gonna stick that wire right into this hole Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this wire straight down. And I don't know, shall we switch views, you guys? Okay, so here, here's the wire sticking through that hole. Okay, it's coming straight up. And I brought it straight down and we can see the dowel coming straight up at us, okay? And I'm just taking this and I'm going to just literally I put my thumb there and you can spin this. I'm putting my finger in here and I'm, I'm spinning. Okay, so that's what it looks like here at this angle. <laughs> Might be hard to see, but you can see here. So I'm holding and then I'm literally just spinning here. Okay, so I'm making kind of a, now this is making something quick and easy, okay? If you're making a lot of jump rings, it's best to use a saw, okay? But in this case, I'm just doing quick and easy because you need a jump ring, you know, um, and this is a quick way to get it, okay? So the next thing that you, I'm gonna cut that spiral off, okay? And one of the things we wanna look at is when we are looking at our cutters here, Okay, on these particular cutters, it's when we're hearing the word flush, it means that it's cutting flat, okay, versus at an angle. And we are going to show you that here. Let me show you that on a piece of wire right now. Is when we're looking close and we're cutting a piece of wire, okay, can we see that up close? Okay, and I'm cutting, 
Okay, you see on this side here, it should be flat. Okay, see, let's see, it's flat. Versus on this side, when I take it out, oops, let me cut again. So you can make sure you see the side, okay? So when we cut, we have one side that's flat and then one side that's kind of sharp, okay? And so this is angled. Okay, so when we're cutting, you're gonna need to then take the flush side on this side and then cut also, so that's flat. So when we make this jump ring, so we have this spiral right now, okay? So it's important to see which side that you did it on, right? So number one, I'm gonna take these little ends and I'm just gonna push them down so that they're still rounded. But you know, when I cut right here, the very end, we wanna make sure that that's flush and you can see this, this side is kind of pointed. Okay, so I'm gonna take my flush cut. You can get double flush cut pliers too, but like I said, if you're just trying to get away with what you have at home, this is the way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut so that that's flush. Okay, so now I have ourselves a little ring. Okay, and in essence, you know, there, there is a plier that you can take that'll hold it like this and then you can go sawing a straight line. Okay, in this case though, um, we're not, I, I'm just, you know, <laughs> this is kind of like what you have at home type of thing. So if you'll see right now, I'm, I'm cutting a whole bunch of them. Okay. If you have really hard wires, so if you were like cutting stainless steel or actually half hard, this wouldn't be an easy cut. You might just cut a few at a time. Okay. So you cut straight across and I'm going to, I want to hold all of them in place. Okay. Cause I'm doing a whole bunch together in this particular, okay. Okay, and you'll see this side is flush, so now I'm going to flip my pliers over here. Oop, and I lost a few. That's all right. Okay, lost a couple. All right, so I just had a, a flat cut. Let me move all these little trash pieces away. All right, so now you can see all those lovely little jump rings. Dun, da, da, da. Look at that. Way to go, us. Okay, and you can see that they're then as flat as we can get them. Where are my other pliers? So that you can open and close some jump rings here. Okay, so obviously the more flush these become, and you can see these are pretty jagged one because I'm using very... <laughs> I use these to cut everything, okay? So this is where your plier matters, okay? So I've used very inexpensive ones and you can see that it's not per as perfectly flush. And the best way to get perfectly flush is gonna be um, using a saw, okay? But sometimes this might do the job. Um, another thing we can do is we can take it here, okay? On that, and, and this, I always like that hammered look. Look at that. Okay, now we have a hammer piece. Dun, 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 dun. Let's zoom back so we don't give, it obviously can't. Okay, so, and as we hammer things, you'll find that your metal hardens. Okay, and what we mean by harden is that when you bend it, it will hold its shape. Okay, so when we talk about hardening, okay, this is very soft to bend. Okay, so we can bend it back and forth, but as we bend back and forth, it begins to harden our metal so that it begins to be more stiff and hold that shape without being able to bend so easily. Okay, so those big saws, you know, um, I don't have one super handy right now in terms of a saw. Um, but I'm going to show some other, uh, things cause I wanted to, okay. So, so we made some jump rings. Okay. Now the next thing I want to show you is what we can kind of do with that idea. So I had made some in some silver ones. Okay. So you can make them in all different sizes. So if you're missing like that particular size and you, you want to have, um, I'm trying to get all these little pieces you know, and you want to make your own, you can totally do that, okay? Sometimes I make my own split rings this way too, okay? So this is what I want to create next, okay? So let's, we're going to take those jump rings that we have made, but we're also going to make a, a nice little figure eight, 
Okay, so in this case, uh, I'm using something called a bail making plier. And let me see, I'm, you guys, I was working a little bit, so let me see if I can catch any of the uh, comments there. Going back here, let's see. You should always go thicker, Bosma. I see that you had asked whether going 22 to 18. Um, I tend to want to use thicker when I'm making jump rings. Um, they tend to be better, but sometimes you need them tiny, but that's for the tiny stuff. And for those, I would buy them. And then, yeah, Donna, this does work like the twist and curl. It's very, very similar. Yeah, you gotta and take a look at those uh, pliers, uh, Susan, to see most pliers are going to be flush on on one side. So we do have uh, ones that you can choose from. Could you cut one? Yeah, that uh, and Mary, that's exactly what we were doing. So we were kind of doing the flip cut. So I was just trying to catch up on on the. Um, on the comments there. Okay, so this is kind of, I, I'm showing you different wire uh, component parts so that we can, you know, kind of play around. This is kind of the start. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? So we made some jump rings. Okay, so now I'm gonna get another plier out. Okay, so this is very similar to the jump ring plier, only this time they're gonna be attached into uh, pliers. Okay, and in this case, um, this is so I can make the figure eight is what I'm doing with this piece, okay? And so I'm gonna cut a little piece of wire here. Okay, this they call a bail making plier, okay? Just, um, you know, two, two dowels, good size, okay? And I'm gonna be using the smaller side to make this uh, one match here, okay? So I'm holding, I'm gonna do one loop here. I think that'll. So you can see the first, and it does, it's okay if it doesn't match. You can see the first curl there. Okay, and then we want that second curl to be down here. Okay, but we also need it to be out of the way of the other. Okay, so we're gonna put that loop on top. Okay, so that this other wire can come down around the bottom. Can we see that? Around this way and coming back up and around. So we're figure eighting this piece. And so when we let go, we'll see, we kind of have a figure eight. And it's only because I haven't cut these wires. Okay. Do one on top and we'll do one on the bottom. Okay. But we're going to cut those apart or snip up. Okay. And this is where I want my flush side. Okay, so I want my flush side to be flat here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut with this back side here, kind of right where they meet. Can we see that? On the one. Okay, and then we're also gonna do the same thing. Actually, I have it lined up okay. All right, and if you don't like the shaping, that's what you have pliers for. Okay, so if that wasn't exactly, if you got yourself all deformed, and I think I made it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to reshape that. Okay, so when we're reshaping, I'm just squeezing my plier with the wire on it. Okay, so then it makes a nicer little loop. Okay, now what I did here was, okay, you can make some tinier jump rings here. Okay, and what I did to kind of make it look a little different was just open these little rings and I placed it into the center. So it kind of hides where all the openings are. So I put one here. And then I put another one. Can't pick all those up. Four millimeters is small, so that's what I was using here. I don't think I closed that one really good. Okay, so I'm going to take that other one here and I'm going to show this up really close. Okay, so I'm going to hook into the one here. So 
system by itself, okay? But then I'm gonna wrap it also at the same time, okay, it just came out of there, okay? At the same time, also around the center link, okay? It just makes it look a little bit orbital. So what you may do is go around the base first and then uh, hook into the other ring. And that's, uh, that's when you have those fine tips. It's the best way to go. There we go. Which I have put mine somewhere, which is why you haven't seen them used on here. Okay, so I'm gonna close that up. Okay, and then we made ourselves a little figure eight, little orbital ring. And you know, I liked having a little hammered look, so just take this, get a little aggression out, you know, always. So this is the same thing you could do with the ear wires. We did that with Lisa the other day. Adds a little dimension. Try not to mash my phone. Wonder how loud that is to you guys, sorry. But you get the idea. Okay, so now you've got yourselves a little link. And like I said, you can kind of adjust it. You could make this certainly any shape. I just did a simple round. Okay, so I've got two myself little links here. Okay, and then and then Remember how we wire wrap these maybe? So that would look good, right? Wouldn't that look good as a little chain? What do you guys think of that? Right? Simple, classic. Oh, I found my little chain nose there. Okay, and then um, Let's go ahead and take these little guys. We're gonna wrap them to there and we'll see. So the mallet that I'm using here today, I think I just used a, where is it? No, it's a metal, metal mallet that I hammered with. And then I, I have it on a bench block and then a dapping block underneath that to help the blow. Okay. And then we're gonna wire wrap these little babies up. And then, and in this case, let's see, I guess I can hook it to some jump rings. So remember what we're gonna bend here. I don't wanna crack the crystal. But that's a, that's a cool little chain link and then we can see how that ends up looking. Okay, in this case, I'm going to hook it to um, a jump ring so I am going to go ahead and close these and it'd be a lot easier if I probably detached it from the spool <laughs> sometimes if you have those short little tails on wire I just put the round nose pliers. as you can see I'm holding it that keeps the integrity of the loop and then I take my uh, chain nose pliers and then I will pinch this around, okay? And we'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna attach two so you can kinda see how this chain link is gonna go. Okay, I can go over the tools, Bosma. I see that you're requesting little information about the couple tools that I'm using here today. That sounds good. Okay. especially because we're using crystal. So I want to be extremely careful because these are vintage, vintage Swarovski medium vitriol. I believe article number 359, you guys. 
it was a sh sure was a beauty. In fact, uh, very, very popular. I, I did request some more, so if you guys didn't get yours or you think you want some more, I would highly put, I would highly recommend you put in your request. I have a few more. There were two sizes of those. So this was the bracelet that I did. I know some of you guys asked for this uh, clasp here. So I do have those and I can add those. So uh, Debbie, if you're out there, I, I have those um, for you. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, one more just so we can get the look here, okay? Let's see. If you guys wanna make the same size loop, you can take a little uh, Sharpie and mark your plier wherever you like the size loop. So for example, if I like this size loop here, can you see that, okay? If I, have, if I like this size loop, this is where I would need to hold it on my plier in order to get that size loop, okay? So then I would mark my plier right here in order to know that. So that every time I always make that size loop, okay? You can just do it with a Sharpie to accomplish that. Okay, so we're making two little links out of some beads here and then uh, gonna be attaching everything together. Just a little tail there. Okay, putting on this gorgeous crystal. And then we'll attach everything together. Just a smidgen smaller. I'm using such a uh, thick wire for this little guy, but that's okay. Sometimes you use that thickness as an element of your design. You can see I put a few more wraps on that one than on the other one, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got ourselves two two little links. Okay. And then let's go attaching all those things here and seeing what that's going to look like, shall we? So sometimes if you can't find the perfect chain or one that you want um, that goes with your design, this is a good way to make your own. So now we're taking all the parts and pieces that we did that we just made up and we're gonna hook them all together. So I took that first one, took a little jump ring and attached it to here, okay? So now I'm gonna attach a jump ring right here. We're gonna attach to right here, okay? Now, if you use the thicker jump rings, I find uh, the thicker gauge, it tends to I guess I should hook the chain piece there first. Close that up. You guys like this chain? I think that's a pretty one. Kind of makes it look a little different, but yet still very simple design. And we'll be able to see the difference here. is kind of the look and we can kind of see the difference okay between this style here okay and in the style here okay it would make a very lovely layer okay so that we can wear more of them but they look similar but yet look very different right what do we think you guys do we like that can we Shall I zoom in on the difference here so you can see them long way? Okay, this is just hooking a link together. Okay, this is making our own links. 
And then we do know how to make a little clasp, right? So if you wanted to attach a little closure to the end of this chain, we could do that. We've, we've done that before. All right, so we could do like a little loop on this end here, right? Right, and then we could pop this on the back. Oops. Can make a little loop here. Should we make a little clasp? Okay. And then let's go here. I'm all I'm all attached to my spool here. Don't doesn't make it easier for myself on it. So we just made that first little loop here. Okay, and now I'm gonna uh, grab here on the little part so we can see this one side here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come around here. So remember how we kind of made the ear wire? It's the same way we can make this uh, hook the same way, right? So that's a little teeny tiny hook. If you want it to be a little bit more secure, maybe you don't want that little uh, loop there, you can totally, I'm gonna take this I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so that it's a loop, just to change it up here. And then I'm gonna take this to wire, wire wrap it instead, look. Okay, I change my grip here. Instead, I'm taking that little piece You could straighten it out if you want, make it a little bit easier for yourself. And I'm gonna take that little piece of wire, I'm gonna wrap it around. If you were doing it in the future, I would have left myself a little bit more wire, but decided to wrap that at the end. But that's the beauty of wire is that it's pretty much wherever you lead it, right? Okay, now you just need it to turn on itself just a little, so that way you can give it a little. grabbing the wrong part there so that I can finish the wrap here. That's live TV for you. Okay, so there's a little bit of a hook and obviously we don't need it that long, but we're also going to hammer it just the same so you can have that same little look like an ear wire, but let's go ahead and I would take a little burr. We can close that uh, section off Let's see if we're too close there. And then pound that baby. All right, make a little, little hammered one here. And you can hammer all of it if you want. You can hammer some of it. I tend to, you know, so the thicker the gauge, it's a little bit better because then that's why I like to use an 18, but 20 is okay too. It is a little thin though, okay? But that helps harden it, it keeps its uh, stiffness here. And we've got ourselves a, a little hook, okay? So when we hook the ends of our chain together here, you would have yourself a little closure too. So I just wanted to give you all the uh, little components that we could put together to make your own chain. All right. All right, you guys. So today we le we learned making your own jump ring. Okay, you learned to make one of those. You made a little figure eight combination link here. Okay, as well as a little clasp hook. All right, so three things we learned today. Did you guys like those techniques? If you liked them, let me see some hearts. Let me see some love. Make sure, sure you guys are still there. Okay, so well, now we're gonna show it right here. Let's go along, along the side here. So here's the difference. We'll see it. 
all right that's the difference you guys so if you are wearing some necklaces and chains there it is <laughs> oh you guys are so much fun all right that was a little uh fun monday looks good doesn't it all right so if you did not get your crystals you better get on there and order them or you know what you can put in your claim right here okay so if you like these little crystal beads here okay those are uh 10 for uh you get 10 of them for 10 dollars, you guys so if you like this uh medium vitriol in article number 359 that's uh Swarovski Smalls for $10. You can claim yours now. If you like this big one, I know some of you guys might have missed that. I do have a few more of those. Um, those were five five for $10, okay? And that's, uh, I believe, article number 5100, and that's a vintage Swarovski and a medium vitrol, you guys. Oh, Susan, that's so sweet. I'm so glad you found us, too. We're we're opening the avenues to wherever you guys have landed on earth right now so you can catch me live we um kind of try to make this show for you guys you know since uh doors had to be closed we tried to open up new doors virtually so this is um this is what we do every day we play with a little something i show you a little something hopefully uh getting you on some new techniques and uh so I think I had a request that you guys wanted to see the tools, okay? So number one, I use making jump rings. This is one of the tools. I keep losing that fourth, uh, that fourth dowel, okay? But this is an easy jump ring tool, okay? It comes with uh, four pieces. We sell it here for $12, okay? If you uh, want one of those, super easy. I've just taken one out just so we could show it to you guys here today. The other thing that I used was the, um, they call it the bail making plier. And I don't know where I just set it. And that's this plier. So if you guys uh, need that, they call, the, they call it the bail making plier. And apparently... Oh, I thought they were free. We have those here for uh, 16 if you guys want one. And anything that you guys shop on Bean With Me, I always want you guys uh, get getting a good deal. So you guys always get 10% off so you know uh, what you shop with me here online. Okay? So so you know. Hey, Dana, those earrings are ready for you to pick up. I've uh, shown them off so you, you can uh, pick them up or if you want to request some other colors. So, so check me out. All right. That's the bail making plier. That was uh, the uh, two parts. So this is what I was uh, using to make this this piece. This is also what I used when we were doing the um, button earrings. I used this particular plier too to make the ear hook. So it was the same thing as when we uh, made the uh, clasp here. Okay, kind of the same idea. Okay, um, you would like an easy jump ring tool. Don't worry, Pam. You can just take a picture of your list and send it over and I can decipher it. But I have right now a jump ring plier tool for you. <laughs> right here. This is a brand new one. I had just uh, opened one just so I could uh, show it here because it was an easy dowel. Um, let's see. All right. We're going to go get this right now since this is a, it, it becomes live shopping. All right, Amy, Amy Roscoe, you'll be needing some of the crystals, both sizes. All right, I'm writing that down. Uh, all right, let me go see. Now, in terms of the jump ring uh, maker, I have, I think it comes in two sizes. So let me double check on that. Yeah, it looks like it comes in two sizes. So if you like to make bigger rings, um, it comes in a 10, 12, 14, and 16 millimeter also okay hard to say you know because if you use thicker gauge you might like that um bigger size all right that was on that wall all right but i've got two i've got one for patty i've got one for pam <laughs> and amy i've got you down for one of each size for the uh Swarovski crystals does anybody else want the Swarovskis? does anybody want a little sneak peek at some 
a new box that just came in. <laughs> How about that? Where are my post-it notes? Every post-it that I keep finding has a uh, Jonah writing on it. This is the one I just found. <laughs> I keep all those uh, little doodles. How about you guys? Did you keep that from all your kids? Uh, all your kids? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Susan. All right, for those of you guys that were hearing that one announcement, I'll be uh, doing it again. Let's see. Okay, Patty, you'll do the smaller one. Okay. Let's see, Susan. You said, oh, you're gonna order. Okay, so I've got those. Okay, you guys. That was that was jump ring tools. Got it. <laughs> And um, I think I had some of you guys that want some kits from uh, last week. So uh, there isn't an actual kit. So this uh, bracelet that I showed. All right. Tips and techniques is over now. It's like live shopping. All right. So whatever you guys are interested in seeing, you can pop it up onto the screen. Let me know what you guys are into. If there was something that you've seen in the past or just something you want to see right now, uh, you can put it up onto the feed and I, I try to answer some questions. Okay. So Patty, I've got the small one. You want a sneak peek. Susan, we are in the wonderful state of Virginia, technically Northern Virginia. We apparently consider ourselves kind of a separate state because we're very different from the rest of Virginia. <laughs> and we're also slower in getting back open too. Um, all right, Mary, you want a jump ring maker and bail making pliers? Okay, I've got those for you. Okay, and then uh, I think some of you guys wanted some kits for this, but this is just Rolo and two millimeter leather. And y'all ought to own some buttons. <laughs> <laughs> from all of our button shows but if you don't we have that too so if you want a kit for like this particular one um you can let me know okay pink pink rollo bracelet kit and then let me see where my i just got some pendants in and okay so remember the necklace i was wearing last week look at the new pendant we got to go with it so very organic and okay guys i got i got the jump ring maker i've got uh, a couple of them some of them will be um have to be on order okay you guys because i think i had a few and uh we'll get some orders in so if you guys want that bail making plier also you guys seem to ask a lot about the uh, pliers that i end up using okay so one i kind of use cheap, cheap clippers because no matter how good of clippers you have yeah end up wearing through them I, I feel but um so i find i just rather buy cheap ones and unless i'm doing something specific then i do i do have some nice ones don't don't get me wrong but these are the ones that you guys are always seeing me use these are those fine chain nose so if you want those uh get your get your request in because i'll do the jump ring uh, maker along with the i have the bail maker so far but you know anything extra you can let me know okay oh you like my earrings Vaspa? <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so earrings, these are for sale. I think you can buy these. So these are, this was from, uh, components made by another bead store owner. So we can have some of her things come through and we can do a little, uh, trunk show of that. But these, you can buy these. I don't know how much they're worth. I'm going to make them worth, what do you think? $14. I think they were $14 for the pair. And then if you guys like my necklace, because I had a couple requests the, the other day because I was wearing this. But these are big hole beads, and this is that awesome chain that I really like. Okay. And it's coming. <laughs> but I have these really cool, uh, I call them faux sea glass or farm raised sea glass. Okay. So it's made to look like sea glass, but they have a two millimeter size hole. I think I put those somewhere close by. So if you like those, I, I, I do carry, you can get yourself a, a little pack of them. Okay, so let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven colors. So if you like something like this, I can make you a little uh, sea glass uh, kit of the seven colors, and it'll be... 
it'll be uh, <laughs> it'll be three dollars and fifty cents if you want a little kit of sea glass two millimeter holes I think you'll get almost all of these colors I have three six seven uh, there's ten colors on here but you won't get black or orange that's two of the colors and then one of the one of the blues okay so if you want a pack of those I will come with seven colors three a whole three dollars and fifty cents okay I can make a few packs of those okay and you can slide that on any chain those have a nice uh, two millimeter uh, hole so you can put it onto leather I you know me I like chain okay and I have another chain project uh, uh, tomorrow as well all right guys you guys want to do a sneak peek with me I got myself, can you see it? Are you ready? A tray of pendants. <laughs> uh, some really, really fun ones. So I threw one onto here, okay? You know, all of us bead shop owners were artisans somewhere along the way. And so we tend to be makers too. And so I really like to support other, other shops who are makers. And so I have one who works... Um, and does all of this work around to make these nice rough pendants or into pendants, rough stones into pendants, okay? So let's do a little little sneak peek, okay? And, and you can, if you like anything, you can let me know, okay? All right, so I was messing around with some of these, look. Look at that. So see that, that tray full? I'm just going through them here. But I like this one. Look at this one. Remember those big slabs we had the other week? This is what you could do. This is what could be done with them. See, they're all a little different. Which yeah so this is the one that was on the uh on the necklace okay so i put it on that cool weave cord that we just made last week so if you like this uh cording design done with leather you can check out last friday's bead with me you guys is there anyone you guys like to see look at these ones look at that <laughs> it's like a light bulb is that too funny and, and these awesome bun turquoise ones. So some of them are pendants, some of them are links. So it's a, these are great for the bottom if we uh, throw it with a tassel on the bottom. You guys like these? Let me know what you guys like. Is there something that if you want to claim it? Oh, look at that piece right there, you guys. Do our mon Monday shopping. Oh, look at that one. Then that look like total ocean. It's a very pretty piece. You know, that's one of the th cool things about ocean jaspers, or, or really a lot of the jaspers. They are, they are just so pretty. What do you guys think of these pendants? All right, so I'm just kind of going through stuff right there. All right. So that is your sneak peek at, I don't know, a little bit of Friday Night Live, you guys, huh? So this week, um, you know, I love chain, but I'm gonna do things that are, I'm gonna go with organic. I'm gonna do a project uh, tomorrow, throwing in some, just things that are unusual shape, because I know like rounds, 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 rounds. For me, I'm not a big round person, okay? So I like to use them as my spacer to maybe separate some other things, but I love nuggets. I love like weird and funky shapes, okay? So um, I thought we would work with um, playing with those because sometimes I know it's very difficult to design with them because they're not as regular, they're not symmetrical or for whatever reason. So I thought uh, we, we could do maybe designing a chain of just walking around and finding some organic beads and then showing you what gets produced, okay? Sometimes getting you outside your element, outside your box and just trying something new with some of the things that you may have at home, okay, might make up 
pretty awesomely you just are you know not thinking in that way right okay so that's why I like to kind of go through the step-by-step -step processes and you know kind of the what goes through a designer's mind and the choices that we make as we are um, trying to figure out how something is going to go together all right sorry I missed your comments I was busy talking all right who need a uh, Beth you need the Amazonite one I think okay all right let's go back all right I shouldn't have been talking I would like the Navy one in the ocean all right let's go back we got Patty okay so this tray here I think somebody should buy them all out I think their name's Patty <laughs> all right these are all a rocking deal 12 bucks you guys I don't care what it is in here right now all for $12 okay so if you want to claim yours you better do it okay so I'm gonna start off with we're gonna do like tray 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, there's 16 little trays in here. Okay, does that help you guys? So, Beth, you said you like Amazonite, which I'm not sure that it was Amazonite. Were you maybe speaking of this one? Okay, this is number 15. Okay, if you want me to show you uh, something that's in a particular square, you guys, can you throw up a number for me? So I have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? If you throw up a number for me, then I'll have a better idea. I'm going to go somewhere where I can keep myself organized, too, before you guys do that. <laughs> As I get better at this. So, Patty, you like the navy blue one, you like this one, and then I see a navy blue one It looks like the ocean. This is a, a soda light one. So let me know. I might not want to make sure you guys can see. So I can go a little closer. So this is going to be tray number one. Tray number two. These ones are kyanite sticks. This is tray number three. These are fun. Tray number four. Oh, here's tray five what I'm guessing on for some of you guys on this one that, that one already sold a few of those ones all right there's these ones these are the turquoise ones I don't know if that was what you were talking about there Beth you could let me know I like these ones these ones are pretty so that one's a pendant this one is a link so this looks great on if you make your own chain you can totally use these pieces Okay, there's some crystal ones. Of course, you know I like those. Those look really good, and they're a good size, too. Might play with some, some of these here this week make up something I was gonna do I was gonna do a chain with it but somebody bought the chain I was gonna put with it so I decided we're gonna make our own chain so thank you guys so much for joining me as always it was a wonderful Monday we'll see you for an, another fun project uh, come tomorrow and I always love knowing what you guys want to see so please let me know okay send me comments send me you know definitely always like uh, what what you guys think of the projects that I'm doing but if there's something you kind of uh, wish you know I'd go over or you have questions um, you guys are my best inspiration so uh, I appreciate all your love all your support and we'll see you again tomorrow 
um, around the same time, about 2, 2.30. And if you're not getting our notifications, make sure you push that button right up there. If you want to replay any of these, these are all in the uh, video library. So don't forget, a couple things, you guys. Make sure you guys are in to win. So I am giving away free giveaways every single week. So if you are posting anything that you're making, whatever it is, it, uh, we always just love to see a little bit more color, a little bit more creativity. So post those, tag stars bees, and we will see it, okay? Um, that it will be your chance to win. And the other thing is, uh, don't forget, beegoeson.com, okay? If you hop onto there, uh, they are, joining forces with us come all month and actually I think it's already starting today and tomorrow so you get two extra days but all of July I'm doing a virtual trunk show with the bead goes on so if you go on there and type in stars beads in your uh, checkout when you go on to bead goes on you'll get 15% off okay on everything that they have okay so it's a sweet deal they were the ones that um got us the hookup for the Juni uh, Koenig uh, combinations of stuff. So if you like the Swarovskis um, and some of those sparkly beads, they have a few other colors because, you know, things were limited. So if you hop onto there, just put in Stars Bees in the checkout, you'll get 15% uh, off your purchase. Okay, you guys? So you got all of the month of July. I'll post that up and you'll be seeing some little advertisements uh, for July to let you know that you can use that uh, fun coupon code. Okay? Otherwise, I think that covers it. Don't forget, Friday Night Live, 8 p.m. Those are our sipping shops, as well as we like to pretty much shop live every day. So if there's something that, that you want or any of the components that you're seeing, um, because we're not an online store, we are working on trying to get these things to you and uh, a better way. So we will be a partially online store. I'm working on a website so that we can make it a little bit easier for you guys, okay? So like those basic tools, basic uh, things, we, you can get them anytime from us, okay? Thanks so much, have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Have a great day, thank you.